Well, hi. I'm back from my break, and this time I'm not going to work myself to death as much, because that's not... I ran out of coffee, so now I'm drinking Kingsford Charcoal Lighter Odorless. This is the good stuff. It's odorless. Here's the thing. Some games are good for devlogs, like fighting games and online multiplayer games. Totally not foreshadowing. My game is basically just a fast food themed version of Doom, which surprisingly is hard to make a devlog about without spoiling everything. There's a boss at the end of each level, which obviously I don't want to spoil, but there's also a ton of weapons you can find, which I kind of want to stay a surprise. But to be fair, I guess I can just spoil a little bit of it, and it'll probably be fine, so I don't even know what I'm saying. But this game is going to need some enemies, so I came up with some. This is a tearing up. He's a mutated turnip or something, I don't really know. All he does is run straight towards you, and you can sidestep out of the way to dodge him. Next is this french fry guy from France. He's just a turret and all he does is shoot at you. Very easy to dodge for an elite gamer like me. There's also an ice cream robot that is just a tearing up with a gun and he's a mix of the first two. He runs towards you and then he shoots. Finally is the soda guy. Now he is very jumpy and to observe him in his natural habitat we have to move very slowly and quiet- HOLY! Anyway, every good game has a tutorial of some kind so you don't end up like me on the first day of school with absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. Here's the list of your teachers. Okay. What is this, a hit list? But unfortunately for me, the only thought my brain had in the past four years is whether or not you can make an omelette with nothing but a platypus. So obviously I'm too stupid to make a tutorial. So naturally I did the only thing I know how and googled the answer to all my problems and I ended up with this video by Game Makers Toolkit. The video was about how you can teach things to the player without telling them a single word. So I wanted to teach the player how to use items so I set up this little thing in level 2. So basically the way it works is that there's a wall over here which your french fry won't break through. But then there's a fry over here so you hit him. And when you hit him, it hits the box at the same time, so you open up the box, and then you can grab the ketchup packet, throw it at the wall, and it will explode. So remember how in second grade, you and your friends would get into a food fight, and you'd use a ketchup squirter as a gun, and then one of you would come back looking like this? Ketchup. Yeah, I made a weapon out of that. It's just an assault rifle, there's not much to it, but it exists now. So then I taped a soda can onto a box, and I called it a shotgun. It spreads. Definitely not inspired by anything, what do you mean? But every action game needs a huge amount of weapons, so I added a giant corn dog you can slam on enemies because I thought it would be really funny if you slammed a giant corn dog on somebody. The next part of the game I'm going to ruin is one of the bosses. This is the boss of level 3, I think. He's a pickle shark thing, he just swims around and bangs on the docks. Speaking of bosses, I'm already on level 5, and if I want to get this game done by the end of the summer, I'm going to have to end it there, so I need a final boss to throw in that level. So then I modeled this guy in Blender, and he's going to be our bot, I guess. Next I did the most planning I've ever done and designed the boss's attacks. I spent an entire day just giving him attacks, I gave him a shockwave punch, a laser, the second amendment, laser turrets, and heat seeking missiles. And then he can combine all of them together, and it's really fun when he does that, I promise. I may have made the end of the game, but I haven't made the beginning yet. The whole plot of this game is that a mad scientist stole your hamburger, so I made the opening area a parking lot in front of a fast food restaurant. You can run around in it and get used to the movement. If you go in the restaurant, the opening cutscene starts, and then you go to the first level. Alright, so that's the entire campaign mode of the game done, with half of it left out of the video. And uh, next week, I think I'm going to make an online mode, because that's fun, and it'll be fun, I hope. So, uh, see you guys next month, and goodbye!